In Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 1, Dragonstone, while we're visiting with Samwell at the Citadel slash Old Town, Samwell is reading some books, and in one of those books, we see a picture of the cat's paw dagger. What the hell does this mean? The cat's paw dagger is an elaborate dagger with a dragon bone hilt and a valerian steel blade. Now, in the show, an assassin is sent to kill Bran Stark and he sets a fire inside Winterfell hoping that it would leave everyone behind, but instead Catelyn stays in the room so the assassin shows up and he says, you're not supposed to be here. He ends up attacking uh, Catelyn, slicing her hands open, and Bran's direwolf Summer, who was still alive at this time, jumps up and rips this guy's throat out. Now, the handle of this blade is made out of dragon bone, and in the novels, dragon bone is black due to its high iron content, and it's also sought after by weaponsmiths because it is as strong as steel, yet lighter and more flexible. Now, according to A World of Ice and Fire, dragon bone can be found in the Shadowlands beyond a shy. In the show, we are shown dragon skeletons underneath the Red Keep in King's Landing. Okay, so there's got to be a reason why Arya Stark is shown wearing this blade during these magazine pictures that she took with other Starks for this TV show. You know, they wouldn't have just randomly brought that pop prop back up. We've seen it in season one, but it's highly recognizable. And also, it was involved in an event such as killing or an attempted assassination attempt on Bran Stark, who is a main character. So, the fact that this was brought back up now, that makes me try to analyze what the dagger it is itself and its handle is made from the bone of a dragon and its blade is made from the heart of a volcano okay so you're like dude where'd you get heart of a volcano now hear me out valyrian steel is a secret recipe we have yet to find out what the recipe for this is in the novels and in the tv show i'm thinking with this importance put on dragon glass dragon glass will in fact be used in the forging of valyrian steel along with dragon fire now it's kind of taking a liberty but this is a fantasy show so if we're gonna add that fantasy element to it we can say that dragon glass is formed inside the heart of the volcano because the scientific definition of dragon glass or obsidian is is the naturally occurring volcanic glass formed as an extrusive igneous rock it is produced when felsic lava extrudes from a volcano, cooling rapidly with minimal crystal growth. So if this cat's paw blade is coming back into the picture now, this dagger has the bone of a dragon and the heart of a volcano. That blade itself is fire incarnate. We do know that Azor Ahai's sword is supposed to be a flaming sword. Now what if that sword over time has been repurposed and renamed and rebranded like many other Valerian swords in our story? One thing I would like to see the show touch on more is how it got the name the Cat's Paw Dagger. We do know that originally Littlefinger had it in his possession. Where did he get it from? Was it originally held by Lannister who took the Valyrian Steel Sword and then formed this Valyrian Steel Dagger? Or does it have something to do with Azor High and then the forging of Lightbringer? We do know that one of the times Azor High tried to forge Lightbringer, he ended up piercing it through the lion to try to quench the sword or forge it but after he did that it shattered now this is kind of crazy but what if the sword or the dagger rather got its name because it's one of the pieces of the valyrian steel sword that azor Ahai tried to forge this is one of the pieces of that blade that shattered if this little theory of mine does turn out to be true that would make the significance of this blade so much more important than we all realize we do know that the Night King is special and he's not like the other White Walkers, so I don't know if Valyrian Steel will have the same effect on him. A knife like this that is fire incarnate could definitely do the trick. Now I'm not saying this actually is Lightbringer itself, the fact that this sword was brought back into the picture before the show even aired and Samwell just turned the page past a book, there's some definite significance to it and I want you guys to let me know what you think it is down in the comment section. Now the page that we're shown in the TV show when Samwell's searching through the book and the picture of the cat's paw dagger pops up, it doesn't actually reference anything about the cat's paw dagger on that page from what I could take away. Now if you guys are able to get like a clear image or something, let me know also down in the comment section. But what from my could take away is that it's basically just telling us that ancient Valyrians and people like Aegon the Conqueror of House Targaryen, you know, they used to decorate their weapons with dragonglass. So the fact that it's not really referenced in particular on this page, it's kind of like a picture, made me think that back when I was reading A World of Ice and Fire, it wasn't a story straight through. You actually get references to things that you read, you know, 100 pages prior later on in the book. So it's referenced multiple times. So I think if Samwell were to keep looking in that book, he might actually find a page that's dedicated to showing you the name of this dagger originally and maybe where it's from. People who hate 
Littlefinger and know what he's actually done behind the scenes. They know more than Sansa and Jon do. They're all coming back around, and it looks like Jon Snow is going to be meeting up with a lot of them. Now think about it. Littlefinger's lie about saying that he gave that dagger to Tyrion caused Tyrion to be humiliated. He was locked in a sky cell. It made him almost get killed if Bronn wasn't able to save him in his trial by combat. We also have Varys. They've been rivals since season one. We could see them in the throne room where they would like basically trade insults with each other. So we know that Varys is not a big fan of him. And we also know that Sansa is already on edge. Littlefinger's time on Game of Thrones is running short. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could, please slap a like on this video, make sure you're subscribed, and then go ahead and turn your notifications on. The like goal for this video will be 150, and if you would like to enter my contest for once I reach 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, you can win this lovely Daenerys Dark Horse figurine. All you have to do to enter that contest is like this video, comment down below, and then make sure you're subscribed. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunt's Reviews.